first action to build a better relationship in the area of friendship. Here it is. It's this word that you all know, you all have heard, you all understand. Here it is, love. Because <laughs> you're going to find out that you're going to have to have that as a foundation in the next relationship, in marriage. See, love is the starting point. I'm talking about godly Christians. Love is a, see, godly, Christian, godly Christianity, when you talk about I'm saved, I have the love of God poured in me, and I'm going to talk to you about two kinds of love, agape love and, and, and filio. You need both of them in order to restore or to reconcile relationships. Um, and, and that agape love is not I'm loving you because you did something. It's unconditional. It, it's the practice of loving without nobody having to do something to be loved. Man, many problems in conflicted relationships involve power struggles. They involve people feeling excluded. They involve the absence of brotherly affection. But you fix these problems by the expression of both agape and filial love. So let's, let's define those a little bit more because I want to give you a picture of what that means. Okay, so I'm a born-again Christian. I gave my heart to Jesus. The first thing the Holy Spirit did was to pour the agape love on the inside of me, giving me ability to love because the Bible says they will know us by the love that we have for one another. And I just think that is so foreign to the church right now. We, 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 and I'm not talking about the fake love. I'm talking about the real love that helps us to, to do some things. So this love is not based on merit of a person's, uh, of the person loved. It's like they didn't have to do something to deserve to be loved. But rather, it's unconditional. Agape is unconditional. It's based on, 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 on them as an image uh, bearer of Christ, in a sense. Because you bear Christ, I can love you this way. This love is kind, it's generous. This love continues to give even when the other is unkind, unresponsive, unworthy. It still gives. You, you, you're unkind, I'm still going to love you because I got this. I, I didn't love you for a reason in the first place. I, I loved you because you are a bearer of Christ on the inside of you, and, and I love you. And I love you when you're unresponsive. I, I love you when you're unkind. I love you when you're unkind. Agape love helps me to love what's not lovely. I, I, I love you when you're unworthy. It, 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 it only desires good things for the other, and it is compassionate. What do you think would happen to every church in the world if they made this the starting point of 